Hey, Gary. Hey, Tanoj. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tapping In with Gary Spivey. I'm Gary Spivey, and uh, we're going to answer a lot of questions tonight. I, I was trying to figure out, like, what show, what do I want to do, what do I want to, what, you know, I got so much new stuff because all these new heavens opened up. All I had to do is die five times for it to happen. Thank you, Gary. Anyway, but it, it was like... Um, this crazy, crazy thing that, that, you know, I went through my COVID experience and, uh, and when I went through it, I, I really, you know, went through it. And, and so as I went through my dying experiences, I became more psychic. And so, uh, and because I, I've got these new heavens that are really, really something. This is something, guys. This is like, I mean, I could talk to you for the rest of my life and I'll never explain everything I figured out, everything they've showed me. And so so I want to, you know, share all this with you. And the spiritual gifts that you get are freakish. In other words, like they really, really, really work. And I've seen all these crazy miracle-esque things happen this week with people. Uh, I was working this week with a lot of people who had have COVID. And, and so it was crazy what I saw. I saw miraculous healings stuff happening and I was blown away and I mean I was blown away and I mean I could read you and I, and I will actually read you you know like the different testimonials from the doctors where the doctors are, are saying this was the worst patient I have ever seen and now um, I don't know this don't ever happen so obviously somebody's doing a lot of something and 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 uh, and uh, she's all better, and and so and and so, uh, a lot of times when people go on the machines, they don't come off the machines. You know, a lot of times when people are going through that, they don't get better, uh, and they don't come off there. And and so so uh, so, uh, and and I'm seeing this happen, and it's a daily thing with with people I'm working with, and I'm having a fun time doing this. And so. Uh, uh, and a lot of times people book readings with me to help heal their family members. And I've been working with these people and I'm not even going there as far as like, no, don't book a session. I'm going to work with you. And so I've been working with a whole bunch of them and, and I'm seeing crazy stuff happen. And so I am so happy and because God told me, um, as we go into these bigger heavens, uh, this is going to give you a lot more light to work with. And you need this kind of light to work with in order to heal the problems that people are having these days. And so, because you guys are having some real serious stuff going on, much more serious than ever before. And so I'm just glad that I got a lot more light to work with, and you do too. And you can get these same spiritual gifts. There's not any spiritual gift that I'm getting that you can't get. And so you got to really realize that. And so all the way through tonight's show, I'm going to work with you guys, and, and I'm going to try to get you as many spiritual gifts as I possibly can. And I'm going to try to get you to understand the difference between a heaven dimension and a hell dimension. Some of you guys are living in total hell. You really are. Some of you guys are living in total heaven. You really are. And some of you guys are bouncing between the two. Most of you guys are bouncing between the two. That would be 80, where are we? 87% of you are bouncing between heaven on earth, hell on earth, heaven on earth, hell on earth, right? It means you got some family members or somebody close to you, your best friend, whoever, your spouse, kids, whoever, and, and they're in hell. And so if they're in hell, you're in hell. And briefly, and then you can bop back, meditate, go to your heaven. And so, so most of you guys, 87% of you are going from heaven on earth to hell on earth. And so, so I'm going to work with you guys tonight and try to get you to understand how to get out of these little hell traps that you get kind of cornered in. And so and I want you to think about it. I want you to ask me some questions about, you know, how do I get out of this? My spouse is this. My sister is this. My mom is this. My dad is that. You know, my best friend is, you know, if you can, if you can say, how do I deal with this? And so because this is one of the biggest questions that I'm asked today. How do I deal with this person who is so negative? And so this is, this is hard for you guys because the person that has negative thoughts, negative intentions, also they bring in negative dark energies, negative demons. Uh, demons do exist, of course. 
And so, but they bring in all this negativity and they end up spreading their hell around. Here, I got some nice hell here. I'm going to give you guys some of it. Well, you don't want to be affected by other people's hell. And so I'm going to work with you guys tonight and try to bop you out of like having to deal with other people's hell. Because when you deal with other people's hell and you pull that into yourself, what happens is you end up having it yourself. And so then you get to spread that kind of negative joy, so to speak. And so, so what we want to do is figure out how to stay above it, how to stay above it and how to stay above it. And so that's what we're going to do. And of course I'll answer all kinds of other questions and do whatever you want to do. Cause I am here for you guys. And I love you guys. I appreciate you. This is my favorite thing to do in the world is to talk to you guys every Saturday. I'm here right here on tapping in and, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. And, and so I really appreciate you. And it, it, with you guys, if it wasn't for you guys, I don't think I'd probably be I don't think I'd even be here. I really don't. I think I would probably be somewhere looking down on you, Dean. I'd be looking down and going, hi, Dean. Good luck. <laughs> How are you? I'd be and like, so, hi, Gary. Thanks for leaving me here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You figure out what to do now. See how that goes. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, sure. so, well, like, don't you know, leave you us. know what you might have told me, Gary? What well, might have told you? You might have said, hey, Dean, hit the record button on Zoom tonight, which I forgot. <laughs> so I'm going to hit it right now, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> Got it. Oh, okay. Everybody. There we are. Oh, okay. So now we're recording. All right. <laughs> well, well, anyway, before we, we're recording on, on, on to the cloud. And so the only thing the cloud missed was me talking about <laughs> trying to get everybody out of demon hell. Oh, we got, so, that we, we oh got, got that part. Oh, you got that part. We got that on uh, YouTube, on the other yeah. recordings, but I wanted to record the Zoom recording so I could get the gallery view also. So. Oh, that's important. Oh, but we have your you. opening monologue. We have that. So don't worry. Good, good. I spoke. I've spoken. Yes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> perfect. Anyway, look at all my crystals. Look at this. Check it out. I'm They're pretty. Crystal, I like them. I'm all crystalled up. I'm telling you, uh, crystals matter. They really, really do. These these new heavens. I got to tell you a secret about these crystal heavens. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for a little while. And Dean, you got to remind me or Michelle, remind me, please. You know uh, about these crystal heavens. These crystal heavens are amazing, and I found out something new about them. And I figured this out this week, and I got to tell you this this little secret before we go. Uh, and so. So anyway, I want to talk to someone who is going through something uh, where a family member or, or close in person is driving them absolutely crazy with their hell. And so, and, and, and how, and, and they, if they can ask me a question on how to get out of this, that's, that's like the, like what I want to figure out tonight, because I think it's, I think it's mass. I think, I think everybody's kind of going through I think, this. I think everybody's kind of going through this. I think everybody's oh, there we are. Oh, wow. Yeah. It sounds like the, that sounds like, that's like a demon Gary. Somebody got unmuted. Uh oh, anyway. There so. So if we could figure out, if we could figure this out, and I think I probably can figure it out. So you guys raise your hand if you have a question where you go, how do I not let my whatever's negative energy affect me? How do I, how do I not allow this negative energy to, to affect me? And so, and, and, and so if we can go, you know, when do we go to Karen from? When do we go to Karen? Karen from. There we go. All right, Karen, unmute you yourself. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hey, how are you, girl? What's going on? Good. Good. Um, yeah. Can you help me with my mom negativity? Because I, I just talked to her and I can feel it all over me. Okay. Either I'm empathing it or she's sending it. And well, she sends a lot well, of negative projections too. Well, well, here's what's happening there. Um, she, your mom is not new to negativity. Is right. what I see. She's yeah. she's been pretty much negative her whole blanking life, blankety blank, 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 <laughs> right? And you can use a lot of cuss words, uh, uh -huh. you know. And, and, and actually, I hear your angels cussing. <laughs> angels cuss, which you might not believe, but they do. And so, if you cuss, your angels cuss. And so, 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 but your mom's had a lot of negative energy her whole life, and and so. What happens is if you have a lot of negative energy and a lot of negative projections for your whole life, you have a lot of negative intention, higher selves. So anytime you hate on someone, you lose a little piece of your light and it becomes, it come, well, first of all, it comes out of your head. It comes out of your head and then it becomes a hybrid 
uh, negative higher self. And so it's nine part demon, one part you. So what happens is your mother shows up in your energy field. She's your mother. Your angels let her in because she's your mother. So they go, oh, that's just mom. Well, she shows up looking like mom in your energy field. One part mom, the face, nine part demon. And that would be the demonic negative intentions. So, and that's what happens. So see, you could be, when I look at you, you're dealing with, you're dealing, realistically, you're dealing with some higher selves that are 30 years old. So 30 years ago, she was upset because you moved somewhere. Yeah. Does that make any sense? I moved far away from her. (laughs) Oh, okay. There we are. And, and so, so, so she got, she got totally pissed about this. And so she got really angry uh-huh. and she basically hated your guts. Yes. Yes. Does that make any sense? Oh yeah. Yes. It yeah. Does. So, so your mom hated your guts 30 years ago. So now then you get to deal with those negative projection, higher selves 30 years later. And, and so now you become energy aware, energy sensitive. I mean, I know you, you're, you know, you're, you're a friend, you, you have, um, you know, you, you have a lot of light, you have a lot of spiritual abilities yourself, you're very, very gifted. And so now then you feel it and you know, because when you talk to your mom, all of a sudden you feel like you're going to die, you yeah. see? And, and yeah. so, and that's what's going on. And so, so you want to get rid of those negative higher selves. And so okay. you, you would ask God, Oh, it's really crazy. Now, Dean showed me this trick with God in the, in the last two weeks. And so this is, this is come many times Dean will get a spiritual gift or Michelle will get a spiritual gift or Judy will get a spiritual gift or, or, or Adriana to know all the people around me are very spiritually gifted. And so they'll get some gift and they'll talk to me about something going on and, and I'll look and, and then I'll get the gift. And so, but this is a Dean gift. And so Dean, remember the gift that you showed me where God was boxing up people's negative intention higher selves yep he was putting them in a golden box and throwing them down a black hole exactly yes and so anyway i want you to ask god for this gift and all you guys can ask god for this gift and this is the latest gift right off the press you heard it here and so (laughs) this is the latest spiritual gift that really works really 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 works and so you and, and so Uh, This is for all the haters, all your lovely family members that hate your guts, okay? And so, or hated your guts 30 years ago, because those negative higher selves have done a number on you throughout your whole entire life. Mm -hmm. So I want you to, okay, Karen, right now, I want you to say, God. God. Please help me. Please help me. Get rid of my mom's negative higher selves that are attacking me. Get rid of my mom's negative higher selves that are attacking me. Okay. Uh Uh-huh. God says you're talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. All right. God's playing games. He's having fun with you. And so so there we are. (laughs) And and so now he's boxing them up, and he looks like he's boxing up several hundred of them. Oh, my gosh. And so, so you have tons of these things attacking you. And so how warm do you feel right now? I'm starting to sweat. Okay. Yeah, I'm so, getting warm. Okay. As you're getting warmer, the uh-huh. reason you're getting warmer is because you're getting back your higher self angels. For you, for those of you guys who don't really understand the terminology of a higher self, a higher self is an angel, your angel. It's a spiritual extension of you. It's a is a spiritual extension of you into the spiritual dimensions. And so this is now filling up with these lit up Karen higher selves, your higher selves that are not destroyed or attacked or captured. And so as you feel now, look, now you're starting to feel the word would be blissful. Yes. Yes. I'm feel. starting to feel happy and like right. lighter, lighter. And right. And, yes. and so, and I can feel it as I'm empathing you. So I can feel that. And so everybody else can also get this gift. And so this is a really important gift to get. Uh, and so, and I'm going to clear a few things off of you. That's going to help you. There we go. And there we go. And so look how light you feel now. 
Oh, I feel so much better. I can breathe. Explain I that. Had, yeah. Uh, an hour ago, I had such a tightness around my chest and across my back and between my shoulder blades. I couldn't stand it. I had to go stand outside. I couldn't breathe. It's like I could get the air in. It was almost like having an asthma attack. Right. A really bad one. And it just kept getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And I couldn't breathe. Wow. And I started that, even getting dizzy. I and now you can dizzy. and now you feel better. Yes. Good. Now I feel I feel normal now. I feel back to normal. I can breathe. I don't have the tightness in my chest. Uh, my airway doesn't feel constricted. Um, wow. So you yeah. were really you were really screwed up. You were really well, messed up. I okay. was. Right, and I thought it. it was the fabric softener that I used on the clothes. <laughs> yeah, blame it on downies. Anyway, yeah. so well, there you are. Well, well, you know, good luck, honey. There we go. I'm going to get to a bunch of people and try to help a lot of folks. And so, so, but there we are. That was a, a major spiritual gift. And oh, so, and so, and that that's a brand new one, uh, because uh, you know it, it's really crazy. And so, when you have spiritually gifted friends. Use them. Take advantage of that. Become buddies with each other. I always recommend this, right? And so, if if I'm messed up and I can't clear my energy, then then I'll I'll call on you know Dean or or, or Nils or somebody right around me, you know, and uh, and and Michelle can see really clearly. And so, and we call on each other. You know, many times we'll ask each other, "What do you see? What do you feel? What do you got? You know, what do you see around me? Oh, I see this dark energy. I see that dark energy. You know, and and so then as we clear each other um see it takes two to make one and so oneness comes when two people hook up to you know are, are one on something and so uh, if the bible talks about you know it takes you know two or more to, to make a church well that means it takes two or more to be one and that oneness energy is the energy that's really truly magical and so you want to clear each other uh and you want to you want to realize that this is just part of of life and and you'll find that this really does work for you so so anyway there we go all right karen thanks appreciate you and so the the uh you know you know that's really really cool because she she felt that better that quick we'll see why run around and feel lousy there's a question for you guys why would you do that why would you run around and feel lousy when you can ask for a spiritual gift and you are going to feel good and you're going to use the spiritual gift and when you use it you're going to feel good and things things will be different and so so um, michelle who you got you're looking at somebody you want to talk to yeah there's actually quite a few um tammy martinez i think it was tammy or the she said that her mom is also just tammy i think it's just okay. tammy she said her mom is also <laughs> her energy. like that <laughs> there you go tammy all right you there tammy? Hi, tammy good morning or afternoon or evening or wherever you are Hi. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Hi. Hey. So yeah, my mom is also super negative. Um, and I, I literally was brought to your angels are your angels are cussing as well. Well, I cuss a lot too. I mean, oh, okay. Well, they called your mom a raving. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, okay. see, that seems about right. Okay. Well, they, that's terrible. And and so and, and she, they have to you know go through that. Um. They told me I have to do it really fast, okay? Because even the fact that I glance at it, um, I see these negative higher selves beating you up, okay? Um, you get weird head pain. I do, yes. And, and right? And yeah. So, head, body, back, everything. I have I have yeah. pain from head to toe. And, and you feel like you're getting stabbed in the head. Yes. Weird, right? Yes. Yeah, people wouldn't believe this, but I mean, you know, we didn't talk before the show, so I'm, I'm telling you, you know, what I see and what I feel. And, and so I'm empathing you. And so, uh, this is, this is a lot of projections for your mom. Now your mom has somebody else. I don't know if that's a sister or a friend or whoever she's got, who, who she got. Probably her sister. Cause she, her sister. so my aunt is, is psychotic. I don't ha I right. don't have another way to describe it. My dad is dating my aunt. There you and, go. And she's psychotic. I love it when I love it when you guys go into Jerry Springer episodes. I used to do Jerry Springer, so this is kind of fun for me. And so 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 um but I I see that that this this auntie psycho, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is is also projecting negative energy to you. Oh yeah, and she hates me. She, she hates, hates me. your guts. Oh, oh, we we've been in fist fights. Okay. 
And so, so I'm, I'm going to that, okay? And so I want you to ask God for the spiritual gift, to say, God, please give me the spiritual gift. God, please give me the spiritual gift. To get rid of my crazy auntie and mother's higher selves. To get rid of my me. crazy family, aunt, mother, anybody's higher selves. That are attacking me. That are attacking me. Over uh, 437 higher selves just got ripped out of your energy field. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. And, and when that happens, uh, well, I see you sweating. For one thing, I see you starting to shine a little bit. And I saw, I saw all this light fly into your body. How does that feel? It just feels like, like a relief. Like, like I feel light. I don't know how to yeah. describe it. I feel light. Like I just was like, I cut a cord and now I'm done. You I are. Feel whole happy and now you feel like crying almost feel that it's like a I tear feeling. like i i cried yeah. earlier and i just want to cry again but <laughs> it's all good. well the crying is just healing i cry a lot <laughs> yeah well when you when you get that little teary energy you felt right there that's totally healed and so i see you totally healed it's, it's that quick so why would you guys not ask for this now these are spiritual gifts that are coming from these high heavens uh that i got in touch with when i went through my whole dying process with COVID. and and so so these spiritual gifts work very instantly you keep waving are you hot i You're do feeling... i do no i'm waving because i want i'm bringing energy to me Oh, good. All right. So yeah. I, I want energy to come to me and I'm very empathic and I'm feeling a lot of energy right now. Like this is the first time in a long time. My back, I had emergency back surgery and yeah. this is the first time like I'm not hurting. Like I'm feeling everybody's energy coming to me right now. Wow. I feel it and I'm absorbing it and I want more of it and I want it oh. all the time. Well, there you go. Well, you got it. All you got to do is that. Okay. I love you. I love all you, right? but I have, I actually have another question. Hit it quick. Okay, we got to get to a lot of people. In the middle of the night, someone screams my name and wakes me up. It scares me and I scream out. Who is doing that and why? It, it's just a, I, I see it's a bunch of demonic stuff that was wrapped around your auntie and your mother. You know, that's, that's it. It's just a crazy, it was a panic attack demon, actually. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so, yeah, now you'll find you won't have panic attacks either, which is Oh, nice. that, yeah. Thank you. Ah, I love you, hey. Gary. Hey, I I'll love see you, you next week. Hey, oh, good. Awesome. Ah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> there we go. And so so that's that's kind of how it works, guys. And spiritual gifts are really fast. They really work. And it's really simple. Uh, you just have to ask for them. And, and so, and you have to, it, it's really good if you can understand which one to ask for. And so, but that, that was pretty crazy because she'd been going through that obviously for a very long time. And and it was it was beating her up it was attacking her and now it's not so that's a beautiful thing and so that's really really good i, I see her i see her on the screen i see tammy on the screen she's like tearing up and crying everywhere i love you you're good you're good honey you're gonna be okay um so um wow who we got michelle who are we talking to oh, who are we talking thanks, to Gary. Like, well, i'm having fun I'm, I'm actually having i'm having fun because this is such a big deal for people i realized that this week i realized that everybody almost or almost everybody i mean some of you guys may run around in your blissful heaven and 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 i'm i'm really happy uh, but, but most everybody that has anybody in the world they're they're close to has has someone that has some kind of hellish thing they're going through and they're projecting their hell to you. So even if you live in a beautiful heaven on earth existence and a lot of you guys are energy sensitive, you meditate every day, you know, you, you're doing really good. You take Nectura. Yay. I just got I just got my Nectura, by the way. Hey, I've, I I couldn't find it this morning because I was out in the refrigerator and I just had Henry help me. He helped me out and made me one. Anyway, and so and and a lot of you guys are, are energy sensitive and and you do all these really good things. And so, um, and what happens is when you when you do this, uh, you bring in this beautiful heaven energy. Well, the demons that are possessing your loved ones, right? They turn the volume up because they're like, hey, look over there, you know. 
and they, they're out to put your lights out and and many times they do and so what i want you guys to do is to, you really need to understand these spiritual gifts you can get to where you can clear the dark energies and the demons that are beating you to death because it could be it could be a family member it could be a boss it could be a, a, a kid. It could be. It could be just a, a friend. I mean, it could be anybody. Uh, and so it could be a stranger. And so, so, but you, you really want to learn how to get rid of these negative higher selves that are beating you to death. And so, and this will raise your vibration. What happens when you raise your vibration? Here's what happens: you actually live in heaven. You'll get your heaven on earth dimension that will show up in your world, and you guys are going to be so good with that. You're going to really love this. This is really, really amazing, and it's, and it's how it works. And so, Michelle, who we got, girl? What we doing? Who we talking to? Thank you, to? Gary. Well, since we're on the subject of Nectura, can we put on <laughs> Lindsay Simonaler? She had a question about yes. that. No, no, Thank absolutely. You. And how do, how do people get hey, – hey, hey, Michelle, how do people get Nectura? You know, oh. like, you know, I, I, you know, I don't feel quite right if I don't drink my Nectura every day. And so this morning, <laughs> my little refrigerator was out of it. And, of course, I don't know where a thing is in the house. And so <laughs> – <laughs> you know, so but I had plenty in the in the closet. You know. <laughs> well, you guys can either call me or email me, Michelle at clubsparkle dot com, right there, Michelle at Club Sparkle, or my phone number seven zero two eight two two zero five four eight. And there's many of you that are members on our call right now, so I could connect you with whoever is is near wherever you live. So feel free to call me, text me, email me sparkle <laughs> <laughs> there we go and, and and here we go ion five this is this is really really great you know like i was really you know aware of medications when i was going through my COVID hell and and so they had me on everything you know a full dose of everything antivirals antibiotics uh, steroids uh vitamins everything in the world and the one thing that brought in more light than anything in the world was ion five and so ion five ha is the best assay in other words what is an assay an assay is something that will bind with whatever you got go whatever you're taking and it will deliver it to the cell right to the center of your cells inside of the, the cell and so ion 5 does that trick and so so my everything i was doing got amped up because of ion 5 and i took ion 5 the whole time so anyway so so who we, who we, who we talking to oh it was lindsay oh. <laughs> she's She's ready. She's so, right there. So, Lindsay, iPhone 13? Yeah. All right, Lindsay, unmute yourself. Hey, Lindsay. Hey. So, hey, my <laughs> girl. we're talking How about Nectura. I love the question. color of your hair. You Thank look you. great. <laughs> I got it done today. <laughs> it looks good. It looks great. And so, so what's your question, my girl? What's going on? What's going on? We were talking about hell dimensions and how other people's yeah. projections, other people's projections are affecting each other you know like like what do you got you got somebody doing that well, with you? not exactly you were talking about nectura so um my uh well my teacher friend at work one of my employees found out that um her cancer and her lungs is growing i uh, grew a little bit and i had my nectura at work and i'm like oh my god take this <laughs> you know, just like like you take it i'm gonna get you more don't you worry and she's on board so we're kind of hoping you know for a miracle we want to you know, help her. And that's kind of what I'm wondering. Oh, about. that's what you're calling for. Okay. Well, let's look at her. Yeah. Okay? Um, yeah. We're looking all right. for Karen. Okay. Her name is Karen. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I know a lot of Karen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let me look at, let me look at her. Okay. I see uh, one dark blob that's bigger than the other. It is a little darkness in one long and a lot of darkness in the other. Does that make sense? Yeah. She had one removed or part of one removed. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And so, 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 um, I want you to imagine it. Okay. Now then see it like catch on fire and go to nothing. Mm -hmm. How warm did you get? Like super warm here. <laughs> okay. Interesting, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Th that's a gift that I got from this higher heaven from this, this Zion heaven. And, and so, um, and, and so I seen, uh, you know, you want to see it just go to nothing. That's what you want to see in your mind's eye. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you just did it. See, you did it again. See that? <laughs> okay. So you, you were empathic of the spiritual gift I've got to get rid of super bad things in a phys, in a physical body. 
And, That's amazing. And so, yeah. And so now then you got really warm. I see you starting uh -huh. to sweat, you know, and, <laughs> yeah. and so, and so you can totally get what, whatever gift I have. I mean, we all are empathic. That's what oneness is. And so if, if one of us get it, you know, gets it, then everybody can get it. And so, so, so people, there's a lot of people that are on or watching the show and they have family members or themselves and they've got serious things wrong and they have to believe and have the positive intention that they can fix those things. And they, they have to mm -hmm. allow that light in. Now, I'm not a guy that says, don't go to the doctor. I'm, I'm the guy that says, right. you know, go. I mean, I, I'm so lucky. I have my, my doctor friend, Dr. Grossman, who I don't know if he's on tonight, but, but I love him. And so he, he helps me all the time with everything. And, 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 uh, and, and so thank God he's my good friend. And so, but, so I, I believe in doctors. It's not like I don't believe mm -hmm. in them. I do believe in them. Uh, do I believe sometimes they're idiots? Yeah, I do. And so do I believe sometimes they miss it? I do. Do I believe that a lot of times they don't get found out when they miss it? Yeah, I do. You know, so, so sometimes you'll hear me say negative things like, Hey, why didn't he catch this? Or why didn't he know this? Or why didn't he care? You know? And so, so, you know, I'll see all these different things, but I, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of bad to call people out on stuff, but, but what I'm saying is, is, is that we all have the ability with a positive intention to light up something and the bad thing will go away. And so cancer is a hell dimension. It is a hell dimension within your body. And if you decide that you don't want that in your body, you can throw it out of your body. I believe that that's my belief. Okay. And the reason that's my belief is because I've seen that happen many, 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 many times. And so, and I've seen it not happen. And so, and when it don't happen, it's either because there's a lot of doubt, there's a lot of negativity, or the person just simply don't have that intention. So, but you have to have positive intentions and you have to really want that to happen. So you want your friend to be healed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. She wants okay. to see her kids graduate and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. And so do you see now her, one of her lungs, if you imagine where I'm looking and I see you starting to sweat more, I'm using another <laughs> gift, another spiritual gift. Can you see her lung almost? It looks like it's on fire. Uh-huh. See, it, it just kind of caught on fire on one side. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. There's a, there's a fire gift. Uh, there's different entities uh, that will attack you and you use usually light gifts. I had to use a fire gift. So now all you guys can get the gift of this and the, this is a torch and you just simply go through and there you are. And so now you have it, Lindsay. Okay. Clear your friend's lung with that. Clear. There you go. Now she caught on fire all over. See that? Mm -hmm. Interesting, right? Okay. Yeah. You, did, you did that, not me. <laughs> okay. Amazing. And, and you're getting to where you can <laughs> see spiritually much better. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you know that? You're, are you aware of that? Oh yeah, and that's another reason I'm I'm coming to your retreat in March. <laughs> oh yay, great! Yeah. Oh, you guys got to come to the retreat. Spiritual yeah. retreat. You got to <laughs> come. <kind> of <laughs> hey, where are we at? Oh, here we are. There we are. Uh, yay! Yay! Advanced spiritual retreat, March thirty first <laughs> to April third. So fun! Great. So call it's Michelle. Fun. Call Michelle seven zero two eight two two zero five four eight. That's it. And so, but you guys, you know, and, and this is, you know, a lot of times uh, in a retreat, I'm always trying to get everybody to get it. You know, I'm trying to get you, okay, now I can see this and see that, and that's nice. I can do it, you know, but I want you to be able to. And, and so uh, this is a retreat, and, and um, uh, if, if you feel like you want to be um, really a healer, if you feel like, or if you just want to be a healer for yourself and, and whoever's around you in your life, if you want to really learn how to do it, uh, this is the retreat that you want to come to. And so, because this retreat is a retreat where I'm going to show you how to do that. And so, and, and, and this is, this is a retreat where I'm not pressed for time and I'm just simply going to show you how to go and get these crazy gifts that really do exist. And so, so there we go. Now your friend looks really good. Notice how you feel really warm in your right. back. Feel that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feel really, really warm. Your friend does too. And so, okay. so, so, so we wish her the best. Okay. Yes, so, Thank you. You look good. Thanks, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. You're a joy. You're a joy. Look at you. I love her. <laughs> me, too. me too. She makes me happy. Yeah. She's yeah. got a great energy. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see you. 
<laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's really good. Who we got? Who we talking to? Who we hey, talking Scary. to? I actually want to bring back someone that um, has a testimonial for you, Miss Natasha. Before I go to my list again, Natasha. Natasha's iPhone? Uh, I think so. It was the one that just mentioned. She said she had a clearing last week. All right. Natasha's iPhone. Oh, nice. Oh, yourself? Yeah. Oh, so this is somebody, somebody we cleared last week. Okay. Yes. Right. And see what by clearing energy for those of you that are tuning in and you've never seen tapping in uh, with me before. Uh, clearing means we clear the negativity, whatever negativity, whatever negative energies you have, whether it's a projection from one of your beloved crazy family members or whoever or, or best buddies. And so whatever this is, we clear this dark energy uh, or demons. They do exist or your own doubt where you mojoed yourself, uh, whatever it is, we, 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 we try to clear your energy, teach you how to clear your own energy, and uh, then you're going to be a whole lot better. And so who we got? We got them? Natalie? Oh, Hi. Natalie. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm I said, Natasha. I mean, Natasha. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Yeah. So I had a bunch. I saw an endocrinologist. I got in. Somehow they were booked out till November. So she did a bunch of blood work and an ultrasound out of my thyroid and everything has come back completely normal um so now they think i'm crazy but i still have swelling in my neck and i don't but all the blood work was it was normal except i think my vitamin d levels are low but otherwise everything's good yeah see what you what you don't re what you don't realize is you you can actually come back normal with your thyroid and and um, that don't always mean a lot you know sometimes you have to have a scan of it your thyroid is slightly enlarged on the back side Okay. And so that's what I see. And so, so whatever that brings to the, your thyroid, not performing for you, uh, is, is what I see. Uh, but I can actually clear what's there and, 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 and I can clear the dark energies that I see. Um, and so there we go. And when I went to, when I cleared your thyroid, um, now did you feel better all week? I did feel um, more energy today. I was in bed a lot. I felt kind of crappy again, but I um, I did. I felt pretty good. I, I kind of had a panic attack when they were doing the thyroid ultrasound. Okay. All right. Well, here's what here's what oh. I'm doing. I'm just I'm just pulling this out of your thyroid. Okay. And then now and it looked a little bit like bats flying out of a cave. Okay. <laughs> and so that's what I saw. With a little dark energies, I pulled that out of your out of your throat, uh, and off of your thyroid, and now then see your sinuses open. See, he did. He <laughs> yeah. did. And, yes. Right, and now then it's starting. There we go. And I see, um, and I, and I'm just doing a little right in the very center of your throat. I see it starting to turn a little bit red. Okay. <laughs> okay. And 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 there we are. And now it's getting a little bit warm inside. It is. Okay. And so, and now then there we go. And so and now I just threw away all the, the dark energies that I saw there. And so, and I see you looking way better, right? Yeah. I see energetically you looking way better. Um, you, a lot of times when you, when you're able to clear something energetically, it'll, it'll follow suit. And so that's what's going on. Oh, when I look at you now, your actually pituitary gland looks really dark to me. And I just cleared that energy around your pituitary, which is the, your master gland. And so, so your whole endocrine system is going a little wacky, right? And so, and there we are. How old are you? Uh, 39, going to be 40 in a month. Okay. That's a little bit early for premenopausal, but you know, it could be. And so, so, but I'm just, I pulled this dark energy off of your pituitary. Uh, that's the master gland. It tells everybody, all the other glands, what to do. Uh, one, one of your adrenals looks dark and I just cleared that. Okay. If you had any back pain. Oh, my, for 20 years. Oh, okay. <laughs> chronic back pain, yes. Okay. Well, I'm just pulling this little dark, your energy looks really dark above one kidney there. And so I'm just clearing that. Okay. And so now then you feel your lower back get warm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now you got a bunch of people on your energy field that are projecting yuck to you. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Old relationships. Yeah, I think everything just. I asked my mom if she would be willing to come out and help me with the kids because I've been feeling so nasty, and she responded with unable to at this time. And 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, people I know, everyone's just kind of struggling with stuff, and I seem mm. to be the therapist, so I pick it up. <laughs> okay. Well, here, here's what I want you to do. I want you to ask God to please clear the negative projections from you. Say, God, please clear the negative projections from me. God, please clear the negative projections from me. Okay. And there, I see an X that is projecting stuff. Way There's a back. few. <laughs> okay. I don't know which one. Which yeah. one would it be? Yeah. Well, there's one that's oh, psycho. No. One of them's kind of psycho and a little crazy. And so, okay. and, and so in there. And, and so I'm just seeing this. And, and there it goes. And now I see them all leaving. There we go. Look how light you got. See? Much lighter. So there we go. Good luck. Can I move in with you? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Can You're you the cook? best. I, can you? Uh, can you uh, no. Can you give me a spiritual gift to do better with that? Uh, well, I can cook. <laughs> I'll teach you. Oh God, <laughs> so, I'm playing with awesome. it. Yes, absolutely. Thank well, there you, you are. You look. You look good now. You look great. Thank you. You're great. the best. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Okay. I hope you feel good. I hope you feel oh, well. good. Yeah. Good go for it. Go for a scan. Go for a scan of your thyroid. They're going to see something. Okay. A better, like a different scan versus the ultrasound. Mm, this, uh, yeah, probably. It just looks like they didn't see. There's something there they're missing, but it's not. It's not serious. Like I don't read throat cancer or anything, but I just read. Okay. I see a little something goofy, you know. Okay. And so, and so that's what I see. Good luck. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Aww. And so, cool. Yeah. Who we got? Who we got, Michelle? Oh, Who we got going on? Thank you, Gary. Can we go to Miss Fallon Raven, please? Yeah, of course. Fallon. Is it Fallon's Fallon. iPhone or the Fallon? one with the video on? Oh, oh yeah. wow! Yeah. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, I love I love the painting in the background. Oh hey, goodness. Gary. So hey, my girl. How you feeling? How you doing? I'm uh, I'm pretty sick. Um, Mom and I and uh, my boyfriend and his family, we all have COVID. <clears throat> so I was just wondering if you could please check me and them if possible yeah let me look let me let me just thanks look. gary yeah there you go. <laughs> all right well, when i look at you i'm clearing a dark energy out of your head uh, out of your throat one lung right and your legs are black okay and so yeah have your, have your leg have your legs been aching yeah they have been yeah because it look it'd be hard for them to be that black and not ache and so there we go in there there we go now look how light you feel see better mm-hmm. all right and now that i got you really really bright um you want to and, and who's your mom's got it too yeah <clears throat> all right there she goes well she she looks like she caught on fire right then it's like all this has light around her um your boyfriend i was able to clear him really fast because he's a bright light and his family there. Thank you. Yeah, it's really easy to clear all of them once I cleared you because, you know, what happens is you're, you're of course, incredibly spiritually gifted. And so anytime you get a gift, uh, everybody will empath it from you, that you're all your loved ones and all your closest people. And so now you see how you're starting to warm up in your body mm. a little bit. A little, your hands are getting a little warm. I see your face, yeah. face turning a little red. And see, what happens is, see, everybody's empathing what happened with you, you know? And oh, so, okay. Um, and so, so that's why, you know? I, you know, okay. this is a cool painting. Is this a painting I got? It is, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's yours. Right. And so uh, let me see if I, where's that painting? Let me see if I can find that painting. Anyway, but there, there's like, a, this is, this is, um, you know, you, you're able to see heaven and you're able to bring down really special spiritual gifts. And so what I want you to do, I want you to imagine where I'm at. Okay. And so, and I, w- I want you to just imagine, you know, where I am. And so you guys, here we are. <laughs> hey, anyway. That's cool. And so thank you. Thank you for this painting. And so because this painting makes me this painting makes me high. And so (laughs) sometimes and you're able to actually paint paintings and and bring in the energy from the heavens that you see. And so that's because you work from creation, which is beautiful. I know that you just recently worked with Alice, you know, Richard and Alice in, in Ojai. And so you worked with Alice and you guys painted this crazy, wonderful painting of the universe. And so I, I, I love those. And, 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 and so um, 
So I want you to go up to where I'm looking, okay? I want you to go up to where I'm looking, and and um, I I want you to see this gigantic hand and this big giant blanket wrap around you. See this big blanket wrap around you? There we go. Mm-hmm. That's God's hand. that's God's hand, and that's the big big blanket. And as it wrapped around you. And then it, it came off of you, and it took all the negative energies out of you. And so look how you feel now, even though you're really sick. Yeah. See the difference? I feel really warm. Okay. Now, that's that's because this is really healing. Now, this is a gift that I got this week. God started wrapping people up in his blanket, right? Now, I never had that gift before, but the results that I saw, and people, you know, called back and was like, oh my God, you know, this, my whatever went away. Right. And so, and so now then everybody's empathing that from you. And so there you go. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, Gary. Hey, there you go. Now you feel like crazy, even though you're really sick, you feel good. (laughs) I can feel it. Yeah. Good. All right. I'm going to leave you right there. Let me leave you right there. That's where you want (laughs) to be. Okay. All right. Thank I love you. you. I love you. I love you. I love, love you too. And I appreciate you. you all. And thank you, Michelle. I appreciate you too. I hope you, you feel better. And I love our painting. By the Indeed. way, we have the same painting. Oh, nice. <laughs> I had to nice. show it. I was like, oh my God, I love her artwork. So yeah. Just it. Yeah. And you know, yeah. Gary, the funny thing that you said about um, God wrapping, um, you know, people in blankets, I texted that to Jeannie earlier. And I said, oh, I, when we were doing, um, you know, I told her I was sending her clearing energy and stuff. And I said, oh, I see God wrapping you in his blanket. So really? <laughs> I yeah. And I hadn't. Have, yeah. And I, and I, I hadn't it. talked to you. I hadn't talked to you and told you about no, this new gift. I haven't talked to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, and so but but this is this is like a, a brand new gift that yeah. I got this week uh, to work with people and see. And you obviously got it, too, which is which is see, that's the way it works, guys. See, it'll empath from one person to the next person to the next person. And, and so that are the people that you love. And so that's how how the spiritual gifts work. And so that's crazy. How neat. Yeah. Can that's I get good. Jeannie Raven on so that I could? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's hijacking the show, Gary. I'm sorry. I just that, wanted to get her. Watch out. No, I, I, love it. Can... I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. She could confirm my text that to her. And she's also not feeling good. So I just wanted to get oh, Jeannie Raven on Raven. there. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. That's really good. That's really good. So I'm feeling all warm now. So yeah, that blanket too. gift, oh, I'm telling you guys, that hey, blanket Jeannie, gift. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, guys. I'm, so, I'm Hi, sorry. I look horrible. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> I'm like, that's oh, wait, hang on. Am I on? Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah. Thanks Not for yet. being with us. Yes. Okay. You're still hey, here. Girlie. That's sorry. okay. <laughs> all right. Here. And so Michelle already texted you the blanket gift right yeah yeah she did this morning oh my gosh it was so amazing yeah well it it is said that too yeah well i hadn't i hadn't i didn't tell michelle i got that gift and so all week this week i worked with people that were a lot of sick people and i i worked with them with this spiritual gift and i didn't tell michelle i got this gift or anything but see what happens is these days guys if you get a gift your family member your loved ones they're going to get the gift you see, and I don't know, maybe Michelle got the gift first. I don't know. You know, I, I, and, and you don't care. There's no race, right? Mm-hmm. It's just you're, you're basically just, you know, one and and that oneness energy will spread between each other. And so so but that's good because Fallon just got the gift. And so now it'll spread out between all you guys. And I saw you light up a few minutes ago. Oh, well, I thank uh, you so very much. Could, would you mind just helping her little friend, Catherine, too? She was with us. Jake infected us all. We love him very much for a little Great. Jake. <laughs> Great. Let me just look. There we go. Yeah, easy. There it went. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Very, Thank you. yeah, very, very good. Let me just look at you real good. Okay. There Thank we go. Thank you so much. Yeah. And there we go. Feel your lungs get hot? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay. There yes. we go. Yeah, you you want to imagine imagine this brilliant purple light, and and it looks like purple amethyst. Like if you look at these amethysts behind my head, you know, yeah. and and mm-hmm. so you want to imagine all kinds of beams of of purple amethyst going to your lungs. There we go. Okay. Oh and my imagine, goodness! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How's that feel? Crazy. 
right? Wow. Yeah. All right. There we go. It's like I could breathe again. Yeah. And, and you feel the difference. You can breathe. Yeah. yeah it's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's good. And there we are. And there we go. Good. Good, good, good. You, wow. you, call, you call us if you need us. We're here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. love you guys. Thank you, love Dean, you. Michelle, Gary. Love you guys so much. Oh, Thank I love you. Dean. Love you too. Love you back. Oh, wow. I got teary. Yeah. I got teary. You know, and, and so when, when you heal folks, you get teary. Or you heal yourself. And, and when you heal yourself, you get teary. Uh, the teary energy is, is what happens when people get healed. And so that's a, that's an important thing. So there we go. And so, um, wow, that was really cool, Michelle. Yeah, that was. Thank you, Gary. Wasn't it? I love yeah. it when we I love it when we figure out stuff among ourselves because that's how that's yeah. how you figure it out. You know. Yeah. When Dean and I wrote Your Keys to Heaven, the the way we wrote that book was we both could see spiritually, and I would see something, and I would go, Dean, do you see this? And he would go, yeah, I see this, but I see, you know, and sometimes Dean would see more than I would see. And, and he would explain what he was seeing. Well, then we would talk to God and God would explain to us what we were seeing and, and we would figure out how things worked. And so, and, and after, you know, going through this, you know, for a couple of years, we, we actually were able to write you know, here's what happens, guys, in the spiritual dimensions around you. And here's how you clear your 10 dimensions to get off the earth plane. And so, and that's what Your Keys to Heaven is. It, your Keys to Heaven, the book Your Keys to Heaven is really a spiritual book that shows you how to get out of the darkness of earth and above it. And then you can go into the heaven dimensions, and so <clears throat> that and that that book is is like a cornerstone book uh, that explains that. And so, and I, I never talk about your keys to heaven enough, but actually, your keys to heaven is your keys to heaven. And so, but this is secrets from God, your keys to heaven. And so, in this book, will explain to you how to clear your energy, your ten dimensions. And this is important to do because if you don't clear your ten dimensions, you can't. You you you're you're going to be stuck. And and so this is something that I do every day. Every day I clear my 10 dimensions and then and now then we're we're into you know I don't know what dimension we're working on but we're working in the ozone. And so uh the these o ozone dimensions now which are the Zion heavens and I'm going to tell you the secret about the Zion heaven before we go today. You guys got to remind me. It's a big secret. I'm going to tell you what I figured out this week. And so who we got? Who we got? Oh, thanks, Gary. Gosh, I love you. Okay, let's go to Alice Smith. I love you back. Alice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. She had her hand raised. I know. So I was, patient. I was daydreaming. I wasn't typing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alice, unmute yourself, please. You fell asleep. You just Hi. Hi. Thank Hi. you. But I do have Fallon's picture, too. <laughs> <laughs> Because that gave me a lot of hope to go and look at it again today. Yeah, right. Yeah, it just brings it. It brings in all this light, and and so a lot of light and love. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. So Gary, I just wanted to say hi, and I'm glad you're here with us. But uh, Josie passed away on the second, and um, they postponed her funeral for the 24th because the funeral homes are so busy with cremation. They couldn't have her body ready, the ashes ready. But anyway, we're having some issues with the family. Do you foresee any of the nieces and nephews contesting the will and trying to make a claim against her state? She did not want them to have anything she left. And it's not like it's a lot, but she left it for Joe. And she- Well, because, well, you know, you, you know, frankly, you guys took care of her. I mean, you guys, and you know, I know you. Yeah. And, and so, so, you know, when, when people take care of people, you feel like you, you want to help them out. Right. Yes. And, yes. and, and so, and, and so this is, is like, um, you know, an important thing, you know, yes. and, and, and for her. And so you just want to carry out her wishes. I hear move quick and you got it. And there's no problems. Oh, good. You know, oh, I, I see them rattling their saber. Uh, rattling a saber just means they're going to rattle a saber. Yes. You know, you're like, I'm going to rattle my saber. Well, that's nice. Yes. Good luck with that thing. Anyway, but but I see just move fast and I don't see a problem. 
We don't see a problem. Oh, thank move you. Fast. But move fast. Move fast. Okay. And I have a good news for you. We're going, you gave us the advice to go for a second opinion for Joe. And we already got everything set up to go to the Treatment Cancer Center in Arizona. And they've been wonderful. So yeah, we're looking forward on the 28th, we're meeting a group of doctors, a panel, and we're going to be speaking to them. And Tuesday, they're calling him to, to talk okay. to him what treatment he will be qualifying for. Good. And and let me talk to you on the 27th. Okay. 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 Right? That'd be great. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hey, hook it up with Michelle and Dino. Okay. Okay. And, Thank and you, so, Gary. Love okay. you. Yeah. Love, love you, Alice. Yeah. Love Michelle you back. Michelle and Dean and everybody. Thank you. You, you, Thank you know, you. and everybody's holding up this, this, picture that Fallon has and and so this is an amazing thing and so uh, Fallon can and these are this is a Jacle, right this is what this is and so yeah. and and so you can but you can get uh, can people get this can you do this is that a possibility yeah, Fallon is can, um, can you get you know are you unmuted unmute there, yes, unmuted. I'm unmuted. Yeah. Yeah, okay yeah everybody's wanting to buy this painting everybody's wanting to buy oh. one of these Okay. Yes, you can uh, order one from me. It's on my website. How do you do um, that? Fallon loves nature. Okay, of course we'll you do. Put it in the link. Yeah, because yeah, I think you know, because uh, I can I can feel people saying I want one of those, and so and I want to thank you for giving me the original, and, and so because so the so, so so this original painting is is in my house, and and I, I I'm like a total relic freak you know like i have all these relics around things that are really um you know uh, magical uh, items and 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 so but the, but i as i this this painting is is like a gateway yes. to to the heavens and so and so when people have one and i can alice i felt your hands get warm right then yes. you know yes. yeah your hands got real warm when you're yes. holding your painting very warm. Very yeah. Warm. Yes. yeah and yeah, so, i like it warm too when i yeah. hold my painting yes yeah and so and, and with mine i said and meditate in front of it and so so anyway <laughs> and so this is kind of how oneness works and so you guys if you want one of these you know you can you can yell at, at fallon and and, and uh again fallonlovesnature.com that's it yeah okay i can remember that even mm -hmm. wow yeah that's good <laughs> anyway if anyone has any problems just call me and i'll hook you up with fallon <laughs> hey there you go you hook everybody Thanks, up with everybody there yeah. we go. hey thank you thank you thank you thank you because i could you. feel people i felt people thank wanting you. i felt people wanting that you know i could feel yes. it yeah i could me feel too. it and so Thanks, Gary. so very what's good. the title of that painting i forgot what it's, it's called um Oh, it doesn't have it on there. But anyways, just let me know that you want Fallon's painting. <laughs> there we go. And Fallon's got, Fallon, you know, when when Fallon was a little kid, I, I would describe the dark energies and demons. Her mom would come for a reading and, and, and or healing. And, 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 and I would talk to her, her mom and, and, and Fallon could see what I was seeing. And so she would actually start to, she would draw and she's got this little book of, of all the, the different dark energies or demons or angels that I would see. And so, uh, that's, I think, I think it, you know, it would be important to, to and, and I think her and Dean are working on a little project to publish that. I think that'd be good. We're trying to get as much stuff out there where you guys can basically, you know, figure out and see all the stuff that we figured out over the years. And so hopefully we can help you with that. Thank you guys. I love you guys. And so, love you. so Michelle, who are we love talking you. to? Alice, Thank I'll talk you, to you Gary. on the 27th. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, can we get Heidi Zinn? Oh, and the they told me, they told me right then in my head, I heard, tell them, tell them what you're doing. You know, anytime, you know, when, when someone I know and love is going through a medical thing, I always try to light them up before that thing, whatever that is. I try to project as much light as I can to them. I try to project as much light as I can to the doctors that they're dealing with. Um, and, and if I light not only them up, but also light up the, the, the hospital, the, the doctors, and, and I'm, you know, I'm that person. And, and so, and so I, I spiritually heard, you know, you know, uh, light Alice up and, and so, and, and her spouse, Joe, and you want to, you know, and, and so, so when you guys are going through something, if one of your family members is sick and one of your family members is going through COVID or one of your family members is going through whatever they're going through, right? You want to light them up. You want to light them up. You want to project light, healing energy 
all the light you can project to them so they get through it. And so that's really super important, and you guys can do it. And if you think you don't have a gift to, to light somebody up, you simply just say, God, give me a gift to light them up. That's all you got to do, and it works that way. It totally works that way. Anyway, I love you guys. Who, who are we talking to, Michelle? Thank you, Gary. That's um, Heidi Zinn, please. Go ahead and unmute, Miss Heidi. Okay. I, Hi. I, I, Hi. Hi. I like you. Oh, I like you. I, I can I can feel who you are. You're you're amazing. You're really amazing. And so <laughs> and so what's your what, so you got something what tell me what you got going on. You got family members projecting crazy to you? Or you got or you just doing I'm good? Sure you got I a do. question? But um well I, a, after and I don't know if this is the re, the reason, after I got a booster for a vaccination and being sixty three and postmenopausal, I started bleeding. And um, have gotten very anemic, and that—that's, I guess, my question around that. Are you going to one doctor now? Actually, I'm seeing a couple. I okay, good. Because here's what I heard: I heard two. So your doctor number two will sort you out. Okay. okay. Does that make Does that make any sense to you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been seeing an acupuncturist and she's helped with herbs and, um, Monday I see a, uh, a doctor and then Thursday I see a different doctor. That one. Okay. That one. See how you got warm when I said that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and so, so, so that one's going to really work it out for you. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. And so, and that's all you got to do. Go do that. Okay. There. I helped you. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you Heidi. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who we got, Michelle? Awesome. Thank you. Can we go to Miss Lisa Hahn, please? Miss Lisa Hahn. Thanks for being patient. Hi, Lisa. Lisa Hahn. All right, oh. Lisa, unmute yourself. Yep. No. All right. Can go. you hear me? Yes. Yep. All right. Hi, guys. Thanks, hey, Michelle. Thanks, Steve. Hey, what's going on? Well, I thought you were maybe talking directly to me when you were talking about crazy people. Um, not about me, but uh, my, yeah. <laughs> my, my 16 year old daughter has been crazy lately. She mm -hmm. had COVID about a month ago and mm -hmm. she hasn't been able to really play sports. So I think she's it's getting to her. She's yep. very tired. Yeah. So I don't know if she's taking it out on us, but me and my husband, it's, it, she's been like Jekyll and Hyde lately. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping you can kind of see what's going on. We had her checked out medically and she seems to be fine, but. Well, what happens? COVID leaves you with an energy of none. <laughs> that's what it does uh and so you will really have a hard time uh a lot of times because you're just beat up and so now i'm just clearing off what i see around her okay uh mm -hmm. now i'm clearing her off um and so i can i can do it really really fast i'm doing an awful lot of things at one time here and so so but i'm actually clearing a lot of dark energies that she's got beating her to death and so she's going to feel a whole lot better and so uh there we go see how you can breathe now you feel totally different we can breathe. Yeah, my chest is beating really fast. Yeah, there we go. And so I just cleared all this darkness from your daughter. Uh, and she, she's just going to act better, you know, because she was just tired. And she don't know how to deal with tired. She's a very active person, you know, you mentioned with sports. Well, I see her just super active. She's also super active with friends mm -hmm. uh, and family. And she don't feel like anybody. She don't feel like messing with nobody because she's beat up. And so, uh, so COVID left her a little beat up. And so I cleared all that darkness from her. Uh, she's going to feel a whole lot better. I, I feel good about it. And now you want to ask God to clear these negative projections off of you. God, please clear the negative projections off of me and my husband, Corey. Okay. And she's how's been hitting he, us hard. <laughs> yeah. How's his mom? Um, my husband's. Yeah. She has Parkinson's. So she's challenges what do you see well I, I see that she's really beat up as well mm, you know okay. and and so and i'm just projecting a lot of healing to her there we go okay no i didn't know that she was having more issues but yeah and so phil he got really warm mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. yeah and so a lot of times people who have serious illnesses like parkinson's if they if they get light in them it matters yeah you know, uh, we have some friends and family members who have Parkinson's and there's been times where we didn't know they would make it for another day and, and we simply light them up and, um, they make it, 
for many years. And so, yeah. And so, but I see, but I see her now, you know, she's a wonderful person and I see her really being lit up with lots and lots of light now. And so now you feel really warm. So, so I'm getting teary about her, about it now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the reason you're getting teary, you said when you get to tears, you things yep. heal. And so, so we, we did her a lot of good. We did your daughter a lot of good. You, you good, but we did her a lot of good. So anyway, tell your husband. That oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, just tell your husband. That'll make him happy. I think. I think so too. Yeah. Can you help me breathe again? I got had COVID and I still or, um, smell. I still can't smell. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. There we go. And there and there. Okay. Now your sinus is open, right? Yeah, they did. Yeah. They feel okay. tingly. Yeah, good. Yeah. So she'll, she'll be, be able to play sports again, though? Yeah, she'll be all right. Okay, good. Yeah, Wonderful. Yeah, Thank do, you so much. Yeah, she's got about two more weeks of just being utterly pissed. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so she's pissed off for two more weeks, and then she gets better. So good luck, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Thank you. Hey, good luck. Thank you, Liz. Good luck. <laughs> There we go. So who we got, Miss Michelle? Oh, thank, thank you, Gary. I, I like it when you say miss somebody. That's kind of cool. That's like a Southern. You're turning Southern. Look at that. That's like a Southern term. I um, like it. <laughs> miss <Thank> Michelle. <laughs> Can we please go to Liz Evans, please? Liz Evans. Thank you, Miss Liz. All right, Liz. Unmute yourself, please. I'm working on it. All right. I think Liz. I am unmuted. You're there. I there love her smile. Yeah. Hey, Liz, how <laughs> are you, girl? Michelle. I just took my eye on five again, and I thought Yay. of you. <laughs> Good. Yay. Me too. Yay. Anyway, what's your question, honey? Um, Manuel had his nose put on. The little the little boy that's in the hospital that his mom set him on fire oh, that we God, worked yeah. on the last time I did a session with you. Yep. So that was last Thursday, and it's a he's still in ICU. But mm-hmm. if we could just project some healing to him. I just did. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And so I got I got him all lit up. This this was one of the worst things I ever seen in my entire life. And it took me three days to get over it. And, and me too. Uh, and and, I, <laughs> I, I'm, and I'm like and I am like, you know, I mean, I've seen everything, right? Yeah. And so but yeah. when a mom attacks a kid in such a crazy way, I mean, you'd really realize you know, there's a lot He's of demons. So on His attitude is so amazing. Yeah, no. Yeah, He's yeah I know. Amazing little boy. No, he he truly is. And so I kept sending him healing energy, even like day before oh, yesterday. I, I, you know, I was working on all the people that I felt like I needed to work on. And so and so I was working on him day before yesterday. And so it's all good. Dean's doing go. amazing things with him. He's there every day with him. Good. So, yeah. Good. How so far, beautiful. My daughter got out of jail and is driving me nuts. Mm-hmm. She okay, as, well, here, I want you to ask God to, to get rid of the negative projections. God, please get rid of all the negative projections from my daughter and my siblings. <laughs> there you go. And there you go. And there you go. Look how you feel. See? Crazy, right? Cool. Yeah, but this is this is like a prayer. I mean, you guys could call this a prayer if you want to. You just you ask God, you pray to God, and you just say, God, please get rid of these negative projections that I've got uh, going on. And so, and then I, he boxes up in a golden box their negative projection, higher selves that are beating you to death, and then throws them down a hole. And so <laughs> there we are. And so, but they're not attacking you, and they're not losing their light from spending their their energy hating on somebody so anyway so there you go good luck okay thank you thank you thank you i love you guys i don't know thank what you, we Liz. without you oh love you thank too you. thank She's you keep great. smiling i love her smile yeah. Yeah. oh thank you okay <laughs> that's so beautiful that's really good yeah Wow. 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 And so this, this little, every now and then, you know, usually, usually things don't get my goat, so to speak. But when, when kids get messed with, it messes me up, you know, I know. In, in, in other words, yeah. like I, I, I am like, you know, you, you get emotion, not only emotionally involved, you get invested, you know, and so you, you'll get invested in, in, in like a child that's going through something. And so, so, so Liz, you know, brought me this situation with this kid that needed a, a lot of light, a lot of healing just to survive and just to live. And, and so, uh, you know, and those things matter. I mean, they really, really do. I don't know what it is with a kid that just hits hits you, you know, like that, but it totally, totally does. And Liz is a wonderful person. She heals a lot of people. She's a healer. And so who we got, Michelle? Who we got? Thank, thank you, Gary. Can we go to Jasmine Manson? I believe that's 
Okay, yeah, her her hands raised. Jasmine, I hope I said that right. Hi, Jasmine. Hey, Jasmine. Hi. Hey, girl. How what you? up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What's your question? Um, so I just found out last weekend that I was 36 weeks pregnant, and I was just wondering if everything's okay, and if you might know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Boy. A boy? Yeah, that's what I said. All right. Do you have a boy now? No, this is my first. Then it's a boy. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> it's a little boy, you know. Okay. And, and, and so, you see, your hands got warm. Feel it? See? Yeah. Nice. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Get real warm. And so yeah. I see, I, I see a lot of light um, and I see a lot of magic and I see a grandmother energy around you. Yeah. And so, and so who is that? Where is she? Um, well, my mom, she's the one that had me sign up for this, but uh, oh. she's been a big help. And then so has my grandma. Okay. And so, but I see you, is your grandma in this dimension, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. And so I just see her energy all around you. Uh, your yeah. grandma, your grandma's a prayer. Yeah. She prays. And so yeah. she, she actually has the gift of prayer. And so she prays for you. And okay. so, so your grandma's real special. Yeah, so, she is. You know, and I see your mom real special as well. And I just see all this light coming to you from those guys. And so that's nice. And so, and you're a little bit, you, even though you don't want to say it, you're like your father a little bit, you know, you, you know how sometimes you get stubborn? Yeah. Okay. All right. You take to admit it. Anyway, be less stubborn and you'll find your life works really nicely. Okay. That would be my advice. Yeah. <laughs> Working Makes on it. it. No, you can't work on it. You just got to do it. <laughs> you, you, would, you would ask God for a spiritual gift to be less stubborn or, or, or your child will teach you a lesson, you know? Yeah. yeah. That'll happen. And so when you, right. And so you don't want to have a, a kid that is like first name, bad, second name, karma. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so you don't want to have a kid that's going to just come up, you know, show up and teach you lessons. Right. So yeah. you're, like, you're like, God, okay. I give, I surrender. I'm not going to be stubborn anymore. I'm good. I'm good. And so I would have that little conversation. Sometimes you, you, I call them come to Jesus meetings, so to speak. But you want to have a, you know, a conversation with God and tell him that you're going to learn all your lessons of stubbornness. And so, and so, and when you do that, you'll find that you'll have a very easy way to go with this kid. You okay. know, is yeah. that good? Yeah. All right. Okay. You're on the, you're on the roller coaster now. So there we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, right, it's, much, it's much better that I tell you your lessons because if I, I can tell you, here's your lesson in life, right? And if I can yeah. tell you a lesson rather than you having to live a lesson, you see, it's better yeah. to learn. It's better to learn a lesson. And then you go, okay, got it. Got it. I'll do it. Than to live a lesson. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. So, so every time you catch yourself being stubborn, which will be multiple times a day, I see that, yeah. right? You'll have, yeah. you'll go. Okay, I give, I give. I'm not going to be stubborn. I'm not going to be stubborn. Your mom's going to love this. I see that. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. she will. Yeah, lots of love to you. Good luck, okay? Thank you. Good luck, hey. Jasmine. Good luck. Thank and you. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. That's good. Babies. Babies. Yeah. Congratulations on the baby name. Yeah. Bad karma. I know, but... bad karma. <laughs> that was funny. Can you like imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, it sounds like first a song, name, Bad Karma. Yeah, first name, Bad. We should write a song about that. First name, Bad, <laughs> second name, Karma. That's my kid. That's okay. You'd like that. Anyway, who we got? Who we talking to, oh, guys? Thanks, Gary. Um, can we go to Victor Lomas and his lovely wife, please? Thanks. Yep. Hey, Victor. Hi, Hello. Victor. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you guys? You look like you're dangling from the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Let me let me fix this. There we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Better. We go. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Right. What's your What's your question, Victor? What's going on with you guys? Well, um, this is my <laughs> this is my wife, by the way. Hello, Vanessa. Oh, beautiful! Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. When I went to Ohio, I, I found my soulmate. So here we are. Nice. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's been great. Uh, our question, though, she. We were pregnant just recently, 
and uh, it turns out that we we lost a baby. Uh, right. We just found out the day before yesterday uh, of the 11 weeks. So we just want right. to find out, see what happened because she did go through COVID. We don't know maybe if that was the problem. It was. Okay. And, and so, but what I see is I heard second time's a charm. Okay. So I just see you, I see you just have, you know, it's the same. It, it, a lot of times babies will come in for a second landing, right? And, and it, believe it or not, it works that way. And so I just see you guys having uh, a, a, another baby, and, but it's the same baby. It's the same spirit, same soul, same spirit. They'll, they'll hover around and then come back for a landing. And so, so I heard second time's a charm. And so you guys will just be pregnant really quick. That's what I see. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. And so, and when I said that, when I said that she got really warm, you got really warm when I said that you feel that. I feel it. Yeah. And so that just means that it'll happen. So your hands got real warm. See? And so that just means that's the truth. And so, and you, you know, I said something truthful. And so you guys will, will just have, you know, another baby, but the other baby is the same baby is what I see. And, and so, yeah. you know, but you guys are going to be, y'all going to, you got to be a little careful. You're going to be baby machines, you know, the twins <laughs> running your family. Uh Oh, no, not that I'm aware of. Oh, do they run in yours? Because I see two, you know. No, but I uh, I used to want twins at one point. Oh, nice. well, well, you you you've obviously manifested that. So I, because I see, you know, I see a, one baby that looks like the same other one, and so I see, I see, you know, you could indeed even have two, and so and and if oh, you wow. don't have twins, this one you'll have twins next one. But I see, you know, you you have a, a lot of babies that are what? more ba more babies than the times you're pregnant. So that's what I see. What? So anyway, <laughs> good luck with all that. So well, a lot of babies. Yeah. Is, there, is there any clearing that we need? Any bad energy? Yeah, well, I, I just, I cleared your energy. Everything looks really good. I see new cars too, you know? Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Are okay. you getting a new car? What is the new car? I see new cars. Well, we've been wanting to, yeah, we okay. were preparing for, for what we thought was a baby and we wanted to get, another family vehicle and stuff, but you know, we, this kind of put a, a halt on things. So we just wanted to know about it. Okay. Well, you've manifested, you, you, you screwed around and manifested a new car. So you've oh, manifested, you, you, you manifested a baby wagon. And so, so I see this, this, you know, car hovering around in the spiritual dimensions. And so that's your baby wagon. So your baby wagon's coming to you and you're going to have another baby real quick anyway. So there you are. So, oh, wow. Good luck with all that. Okay. Thank you, Gary. Hey, Appreciate thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. you. Love you back. Good luck. <laughs> That's great. Congratulations again. Yeah. Yay. yeah. That's fun. Can't wait to meet her. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. Awesome. Who we got? Who are we talking oh, to, guys? Thanks, Gary. Can we go to Bernadette Sava? I hope I said that right. Bernadette Sava. Bernadette. There we go. Hi, Bernadette. Thanks for being patient. You just have no to unmute yourself. Oh, there you go. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, and yes, you said it properly. Thank you. Gary, I have hey, been girl. in I've been in hell for 65 years. The oh, good Lord. Being the worst. Okay. And I have a lot of people projecting negativity mm. toward me. Okay. All right. You wanna fix it? <laughs> Please. Okay. Well, here's, you know, here's what happens. If you got a lot of people that are projecting negative energy to you, you know, this pisses you off. And so, and it, 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 and it creates a lot of anger. And so, so what's happening is you're attracting it. And so you mean you fix it. So you stop attracting this negative stuff. Okay. When I look at you, you're in a black box. I mean, you, you know, and so I'm going to clear the black box around you there. I just did feel how you feel warm now. See, you feel really warm. The back of your head's really warm. You can breathe different. Your feet are getting hot. You see, you feel all that going on. And yeah. so that's me just clearing this black box off of you. See, when you guys get mad, when you get pissed, you, you, you will then sometimes end up having a black box around you. The reason you have a black box around you is so your negative projections won't get beyond the black box. 
you see? And so that's, they box you in. So your angels, your own angels box you in. And so I cleared the black box off your head. Now then you want to just say, God, please help me get rid of the negative projections. Get rid of the negative projections. Okay, there. And so you got rid of about four or 500 of these. Okay, 503 to be exact. Okay, and so and so when and now then you feel really warm and you feel different and you're starting to go higher. The spiritual dimensions work on higher, higher and higher, higher is higher. And so now then you're floating up to a much higher vibration and you're starting to feel really, really light. Feel that? It's a kind of a strange feeling, but you feel light, light all over. What does that feel like to you? You know, because every single area of my life has been blocked. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you're pissed. Okay? And so, I, you know, I hate to say that the line, the call's coming from inside the house. In other words, you're the one doing it, right? And so, but when you get mad, that's what happens. And so now I got rid of that box, that, that anger box. And so you're going to now feel really, really good, and you'll find things work out really, really light. Are you taking a little trip somewhere? Where's that trip? Some, I, know of. I don't have any money to go anywhere. Well, somebody's going to take you somewhere. Go. I see a little trip, and, and it's going to be like someone's going to help you with this little trip, and they're going to ask you, and when they say, would you like to go, you just tell them, yeah. And so, and I feel that. And see, when I, and when I said that, so you got really warm. You know, sometimes you just have to go and kind of get out of the house a little bit. And so I see this. It's not a big trip, but it's a little trip and it really helps. And so do that. Okay. I did, I did go to the ocean yesterday with my dogs because I just, I had to get out of the house. Okay. It was nice. It was nice. All right. Well, do it again and do it again. But there's a friend that's going to take you somewhere too. And so, and I see that. And so that feels really good to me. All right. Thank good. You. All right. Lots of love to you. Smile. Come on. Do it. Smile. There we are. All right. Anyway, you got those negative. You got to have positive intentions. You got to have the positive intentions. You got a beautiful I smile. I, I want to I want to have a nonprofit to help yeah. uh, animals and people. And yeah, you'll be able to do you'll be able to do all those things. Just project this love and project this light that you got inside of you. And now, but we got rid of that box of anger and you're going to find things work easy for you. That's what I see. I see new shoes too. You buy new shoes? Yeah, I buy, I, I actually design shoes. There we are. Cause I see all these shoes things being so important to you. You got, <laughs> you got, make sense. Yeah. Now I got a smile out of you. Look at that. And so now then see, I tapped into your creation. You see what I'm saying? There's my girl. There you are. And so I found you underneath that box of anger. And so what happens is, see, when you move up into that vibe of creation and you are designing, or like you say, I designed you, okay, you, this is who you are. Go right. to that designer you, go to that creation you. And so that's the artist I see and I love and I like. And so there we go. All and right. I've been there for, since 2004. I'm just not getting anywhere with it. Now you will. Now you will. Don't say that. Say I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Do that. Anyway, I love you. Talk to you soon, okay? Good luck, Bernadette. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so important. You know, it's really important. And we get in our own way. I mean, we all do this, right? And so we get in our own way and we mojo our own self. And you don't want to mojo yourself. You just want to simply, you know, believe in you. And, and so go ahead and do it. Just do it. Believe in you. There's no downside to that. And so, and when you believe in you, you'll find that everything works out really wonderful. Who we got? Oh, thanks, Gary. Can we go to Kelsey? Yep. Kelsey. <laughs> thanks for being patient, Kelsey. Hi. Oh, there we go. Kelsey. Yep. Looking. Kelsey. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Kelsey. Hi. Hey, girl. How are you? <laughs> beautiful you're beautiful yeah. thank you i'm so surprised <laughs> hey glad to talk to you glad to talk to you and so what's going on with you um you know i have a lot of anxiety um i always have kind of and i was just kind of hoping you could clear some of it for me uh, i can clear all of it for you how's that yeah okay. i love that and and so what I see is you you sometimes hold on to things from even a long time ago, you know, and so and and so who's this beside you? 
<laughs> you're, just, you're... just my husband. Oh, okay. He shook his head. Yes. He goes, oh, yeah. But the yes was like more of a like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> she holds on to things from a long time ago. And and so you, you have to turn loose of that. That's your mother thing, not you. Okay. And so does that make sense to you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're kind of, how come that makes sense? Make make me understand. How come that makes so much sense? Uh, my mom was not around. Okay. All right. And so so there's a lot of stuff there. There's a, there's yeah. a lot of issues there, right? And there's so, a lot. And, and so these are, are traumas, okay? And so you want me to get rid of them? Please. You, you can't go back to them and keep on reliving them if I do. How do, I, how do, how do I not go back to them? I get rid of the traumas. Okay. See how it works. Okay. <laughs> so do you want to get rid of the traumas or would you rather keep them and keep on going over and over and over and over in your head? I want to get rid of them. Okay. All right. Tell me, tell me your mama trauma. Tell me, tell me your name. Debbie. Okay. Debbie, 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 Debbie. There we go. Okay. It takes a minute to wrap my head around this. She was a mess. Good Lord. There we go. I got him. Ah, take a deep breath. Notice how you can breathe? Yeah. yeah. My shoulders feel tingly. And I want to ask you a question. I want you to listen to this, okay? How quiet's your head? Really fucking quiet. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's all really right. Really quiet. Very, yeah. very quiet. It's, yeah. I can hear everything right now. Okay. It's weird. Yeah. Tell your husband he owes me a car. <laughs> she's going to hear you when you talk to her now which is really cool anyway so I, I need a car anyway i'm joking i don't need a car but but if if but you're gonna feel really good honey listen to how quiet your head is those those were crazy projections from your mom and they were embedded in you okay that's what traumas are traumas and and they can be even bigger and and i was going through this with one of my buddies yesterday actually your traumas can be embedded on a soul level and the ones that are embedded on a soul level you can't shake them to save your life now i can do it you know i could just I, i've been able to do it forever but i i can just do this is a, a thing i can do and and i'm and you know i was even talking to my buddy about it yesterday and i realized that that I don't do this enough. I got to get rid of people's traumas. And so I got rid of something like uh, 63,000 tra traumas, 63,000 traumas that were embedded in you. And now then, you don't have that for an excuse anymore. So now I got rid of the traumas. You get rid of the dumb habits. Okay? And so, and you have to realize that is a dumb habit to revisit this. Okay? And so, okay. and, and I'm being respectful when I call it a dumb habit because anything that beats you up is a dumb habit. Okay. And so if you beat you up, that's a dumb habit. And so, so I got rid of it. Now I want you to ask uh, God to get rid of these negative projections. Just say, God, get rid of my mom's negative projections. God, get rid of my mom's negative projections. Please. Please. You got to be nice, God. Okay, there we go. And so there, and there we are, and there we go, and there we are. Look how you feel. Feel how your body came on. I felt light go all the way through your body, all the way to your toes. That's cool. My, do my dog's making noises behind me. He feels it too, I think. No, dogs can feel it. They really can. That's really good. And so how perfect. You're going to be fine. You're good. You're good. Stay good. Okay. Gary, can yeah. I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, my sister passed away about six years ago. Um, she had a part in raising me too. Do you see anything with my sister? She says her hair is really pretty. Her hair is really pretty. Yeah. She had beautiful hair when she was uh, oh when she was a teenager in the eighties. Oh, okay. And so she says she's she says that's what she's doing now. How was her hair when she died? She she would curl it every morning before work. Um, oh, okay. So she she did care about her hair, but okay, because she's showing me her hair is beautiful, and Go so ahead. and she says she's young, she's not older, you know, and yeah. and she she's really really happy. 
Um, she tells me also she rides with you in the car. And so, and so <laughs> yeah. I feel that. Oh my God. I feel that all the time. I talk to her in the car by myself. Yeah. I well, talk to her says, in the car by myself when I'm alone. Oh, that's right? funny. That's yeah, so well, funny. She says it's really her, you know, and, and she says, tell her she's just as crazy as she always was. She's making jokes. Your sister's a hoot, you know? She's she a, she, is. Yeah. Oh she, she's a lot of fun. And she's, she's wiggling her feet around and showing me pretty shoes. And so, and okay. so she says in heaven, she has a lot of cool shoes. You would Good. love it. She says, you'll love it when, when you, she says, tell her she'll oh. love it when she gets to heaven. They give her all the shoes she could wear. And she's talking about shoes. So obviously you're a shoe freak and she's wanting me to tell you about all the shoes. What does that make any sense to you? Uh, kind of. My sister was always buying new shoes. I, I remember I would laugh at her and, and yeah, I would laugh at her cause she'd always complain about her feet hurting. And so she'd always be buying all these shoes and I was just younger and, but yeah. And I need new shoes too. Oh, well, she's like, she's all happy about that. She loves you very much. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Gary. Hey, you're going to feel good now. You're going to feel, you owe me two cars, by the way. All right. I'll let you go. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you too. You know, it, it's really funny because, you know, you guys, when you, when you got family members and they're going through something and, and you know, you're, you're hung in whatever this thing is and, and it comes back and it haunts you again and it haunts you again and it beats you up and it haunts you again. You know, you, you really want to shake all that stuff. I mean, you really, really do. And, and you guys can shake it. I mean, you guys have, have the keys to the kingdom because you really just simply ask for the spiritual gifts to do it with. And when you ask for the spiritual gifts to do it with, you guys are going to be able to do it. And so, and, and you have to realize that these new spiritual gifts that are coming down from these crystal heavens are really amazing. And so, and uh, here, I want to tell you guys the secret of this. Here's a, a little secret I found out. And I'm, I, I can't always understand everything I read. And so I have to, even when I'm editing books and stuff, you know, Dean, you know, over the years, you know, uh, everybody has to read to me and I hear it <clears throat> and I'll hear it different, different when, when someone reads to me. And so uh, actually Henry was reading me the book of Enoch the other day. And, and so, and it was really cool uh, because I, you know, uh, you know, I was listening and 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 as we were reading the book of Enoch, the, the Enoch is um, uh, this biblical person back in the day that was part of the book of Enoch was found as the Dead Sea Scrolls. In other words, this was an unedited part of the Bible. This didn't get in the Bible, but it should have. And and it's this one piece of of this this uh, like biblical you know thing that should have been in the bible and it, and it's uh, unedited because it was in the it was found in the dead sea scrolls anyway this particular energy uh, from this book is really 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 amazing and i've always agreed with everything and except you know this was a little piece that we found in a chapter and we're reading this book of enoch and enoch almost is speechless as he's describing these crystal heavens that God took him to. And I've never heard about these crystal heavens that I talk about, that I saw when I went through my death experience, you know, when I, with COVID, uh, and God took me to these crystal heavens that were so spectacular, I could not believe what I was seeing. And they basically look like these um, right here. They look like these crystals that are around me. And, and so Citron, Golden Heaven, and of course, you know, Amethyst heaven. And so there's, there's all the, the, there's five of them. And so these beautiful heavens are so lit up that it's more spectacular than anything you could ever imagine. And so if you tap into that energy, and so I'm always up in that energy. And so that is a heaven energy. And so you want to be in this heaven vibration, this heaven on earth vibration. And so I'm always up in this heaven energy and, and, and lighting everything up. And so you want to be in this heaven energy, not in a hell energy. 
Okay, so it's really super important to imagine these big crystal heavens up as high as you can go. And this would be called Zion heaven. Even if you say the words Zion or the word Zion, Zion heaven. And so, and this is a beautiful, 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 beautiful place. And so in the book of Enoch, Enoch describes this heaven. I was blown away when I figured out that someone else figured this out. And so because I many times I'll see things and I'll start talking about them or describing them. And, and you know, and it's like everybody's like, yeah, OK, Gary, sure. Right. And so but when I when I figured out that the book of Enoch and Enoch being one of the most spiritual, spiritually gifted people that's ever lived. Right. Saw these crystal heavens made me feel really good. So so I, I think that's cool. You guys should read the book of Enoch. Who we got, guys? Who we got? Thank you, Gary. OK, can we go to um, G Heidi Joe? Heidi Joe. Hi, Heidi. Thanks for being so patient. Heidi Joe, the one with the camera off. Oh, did she turn and no camera? microphone? OK, uh, she ran away. Oh. Do you have your camera on, Heidi? Yeah, I do. Hi. Hi. Did my camera go off? Yeah. That's okay. What's your question, honey? I think she's muted. Um, I have been having an issue with my daughter for years. Okay. And I... Um, to be a grandma and i'm terrified she's going to try and keep me away from the baby anything she can do to manipulate you she'll do yes okay how do i get it to stop that's a good one how how old is she how old is she 24 12 yeah <laughs> I think she's, I think she's really, she really does. She feels like she's 12 years old. Um, and, and I just see that she's, she's got this energy where she, she just basically, uh, is malicious and she wants to hurt you. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, sometimes people are, you know, um, do you have other children? Yeah. Uh, she has a younger brother who's 21. He's kind of cool. Yeah. He's very cool. <laughs> yeah. He's actually even fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Spend time with him. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Good. He lives with me still. <laughs> Good. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 you know, he makes sense, but she, she's difficult. Um, uh, sometimes you, you know, you just really, you know, can't keep on keeping on. And when people yeah. are, are ridiculous and she's absolutely utterly ridiculous is what I see. And yeah. so, and so, and, and nobody likes to hear this, you know, from a psychic, but I would run like hell. <laughs> you know? no, and that's been my, that's been my instinct is to try and avoid, I just, I would like to be a part of my grandchild's life. Yeah, that's all nice. Um, but, you know, you can't, I, I get a vision of her taking the grandchild and beating you over the head with it, you know. And, yeah, and so, 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 so she's just going to be manipulative until, how old is she now? 24. Okay, she comes out of this at 28. And so okay. you should just, you know, visit her in about four years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so I'm giving you horrible advice. Um, but I'm, no. I'm, but I'm, I'm telling you, rather than you know, basically getting beat to death for four years with a child, um, or any the other thing she can possibly do, um, was her dad super negative? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I was I was married to someone after her dad who abused her, and we worked through everything. I as soon as I, I got rid of him, I got her help and once she moved away to college she turned on me and I turned into the most evil person ever alive before yeah well it. well it's 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 a big mess and so but here's what I see I don't know that there's anything you can do right now and so so I would just be around be there but at the same time you know don't drive yourself too crazy you know 
and and so yeah. be, because it's going to take her a minute. I do see her coming out of this at about twenty eight, and so so you know that's you know that's a terrible reading, but it's actually what I read, and so I'm a psychic that tells you what I see. I don't tell you what you want to hear, and so no, so but I you that. but you would you would simply ask God for for a for healing, and you would say God, can you can you please get rid of the negative projections? Just say, God, can you please get rid of the negative projections. Okay, say it again and mean it. God, can you please get rid of the negative projections? Okay, there we go. And so you got rid of all the negative projections. Do you have a negative projections from also grandma? My like, mom, yeah. Yeah. So you're getting hit from both ends, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She plays us against each other. Yeah, that's what I see. So, so that's yeah. where your daughter gets a lot of negative, t not negative uh, energy from the from your mom. You okay. Yeah. And, and so that makes sense to you. Oh yeah. Okay, so I saw oh, these yeah. negative. Well, when I when I looked in, I saw the negative projections come off of you from the mother and from the from your daughter. Okay. 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 Now then, we moved it up to a year and a half. So instead of four years with your daughter, now it only takes a year and a half for her to wake up. <laughs> good, right? I can handle. I hey, I can handle that. It's already been a, a good four years, but so. <laughs> okay, yeah. So she'll wake up in about a year and a half. So that's what I see, and she'll even be slightly nice between now and then. So there we go. And so, okay. good, honey, good luck with everything. Uh, but that clearing will matter to you. And so this is yeah. something any of you guys can do. You ask God for the gift to clear off all the negative projections from, you know, the dear friends and family members that are doing it and uh, or strangers. It could be anybody. And so and, but you once you get rid of these negative projections, you'll find these days it's much easier to move on and be happy. And so I see you doing really, really good. And I do see a move in your future. Are you planning to move? Uh, no, I, I, I've joked around about it, but... <laughs> Okay. Well, you might take it more serious. I actually see you moving in the next, next, not right now, but a little bit later, and it's going to really work out good for you. That's what I see. Okay. 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 Thank All you. Right. Hey, good luck. Good luck, honey. Thanks. That's Thank good. You. Cool. That's good. You know, I'm having fun reading you guys tonight. I really am. You know, like I'm having a really good time, you know, uh, looking and seeing what you got going, what I can do, how can I help. Uh, and so I'm pulling all these dark energies. And if you guys want a private reading with me, I'm doing private readings these days. And so, uh, and I'm having fun doing it because I've got all these new gifts from these new crystal heavens. And you guys can call me 800-827-GARY. I do think we have a couple tomorrow. I'm, I'm open. Sometimes I open up Sundays. And so we do have a couple of readings tomorrow 1-800-827-GARY 1-800-827-4279 and uh and i'll be glad to talk to you guys i think we have two tomorrow and, and on sunday 800-827-4279 call right now and i think dean answers the phone <laughs> and so anyway thank you guys i appreciate you so much and gary or gary .com. we got all kinds of stuff we got the advanced spiritual retreat that's going on and uh this is happening and advanced spiritual retreat is march 31st and uh, april 3rd uh it's right here in north carolina and so in this advanced retreat i work with you guys and teach you how to use your healing abilities and teach you how to get these spiritual gifts these new spiritual gifts that are really really quite amazing and these new spiritual gifts will actually enable you to do all these cool things and so uh so please come please come it's 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 really fun and michelle do we have a couple of more we have a, a few right we, yes we, we have a couple more spots for that we do we're almost pretty much booked but we do have a few more left so oh good we actually call? have first come first serve we have three more spots left and that yeah. is it oh. Oh. okay there we go and so i appreciate you guys and i look forward to that what do we got what are we doing Oh, uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. We we do have something looking, to tell you. Yeah, I, was, I know you're getting ready to go, but I was looking at the chat and Hero, you know, uh, our yeah, friend, the lawyer. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> he said he was reading the book of Enoch this morning and read the exact same passage that you were talking about, about the crystal heavens. He oh, says, wow. Because like, I was reading like the book of crystal. Enoch this morning, the exact passage you mentioned about the heaven appearing like crystals. And so he's oh, wow. to know if you could clarify a little bit of, 
about it or talk a little bit more about it? Well, you know, it was it was really interesting because as you you know, as I was we were reading the Book of Enoch, it was it was interesting because he was very you know pointed, decisive in his speech, and when he got to this piece where he's talking about going through, um, you know, hell to get to these crystal heavens. Uh, he's describing the hell dimensions, and these were the death dimensions because these were these were like um, every time I would go through my dying thing, and I did it five times, I I would go into one of these heavens, and and God would crown me in these heavens, and it was really crazy because because Enoch explained this in such detail that was exactly what I lived. And so, and what I went through, and so it was for me. It was it was very moving, but that's very interesting. The hero actually read this. Can we talk to Hero? Can we talk to him? Is he still on in Japan? Or uh, where is he? He's still. No, I think he's in the United States. Let me see if he wants to come on. I don't know if All he right. wants to. Uh, if he don't, it's okay. You know. All right. I'll, I'll ask him to unmute. He may or may not. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Hey, Hero, if you're there, unmute if you want to talk to Gary. Uh, hi, Gary. Hey, buddy. How are you? So you read this same passage. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, exactly the same passage. I was very surprised you mentioned about it. Yeah, that's deep. Yeah, that's the, deep. And it, in fact, I was thinking how how difficult it is to understand. Well, it was, you know what, you know what, the, you, I'm glad you said that. And you're one of the smartest people I know. And so, you know, and, and so it, it's really interesting. I'm maybe one of the dumbest I know. And, and so, but however, I I do understand th th what I understand. And so in reading the book of Enoch, no one would understand what Enoch was saying prior to that passage. But he was explaining what it was like to live a dual um, existence in this higher heaven because when he was talking about the spirits, and so I'm going to go through this. This is one of the things I'll do in, in detail um, in, in the spiritual retreat. And, and so in the spiritual retreat, the advanced spiritual retreat that I'm doing, and, and you guys, here we are. I think Dean said we have three more places, you know, spots. And so, and uh, this is coming up uh, March 31st to April 3rd. And so I, I'm going to go through some of the things that I figured out, and even even with the Book of Enoch, because because he's like such a spiritually gifted person in history, and so this is pretty amazing. But he's talking about the duality of we actually exist on a higher plane. We have higher selves. Our higher self angels exist in this Zion heaven and on earth at the same time. And so when with this going on, we always have a sense of this connection. And it, but it goes to the very uh, connection with God. And I, I have to talk about it for like two hours to really get anybody to understand what I'm talking about. But that's the reason you had a hard time really understanding what he was saying. Uh, if you read it again and understand the duality of having you up in Zion heaven and on earth at the same time, and he's talking about your spiritual existence is up there and your spiritual existence is down here. And so, and that's what it is. And so, so it, then you'll understand it better. And of course, this makes no sense to any of you guys, but, but these are the kind of things that, that I'll go through with the advanced spiritual retreat. So for you guys that, that aren't booked, call, check it out. There we are. And so anyway, how you been, Hero? How you been? How you doing? Oh, uh, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I've been uh, busy, uh, but Gary, I, I meant to ask you one thing. I think you're okay. the only one who knows the answer. Uh, ever since I was a child, I was always wondered, why did Jesus say on the, the last, one of the last sentences, he said, according to the King James Version of the Bible, is, is, oh God, oh God, why have you forsaken me? It didn't make sense to me. So, so I looked into Aramaic, which is what Jesus spoke, uh, not Greek, not English, of course. Uh, he said, uh, El El Emana Shrakdam, which means, oh God, oh God, for this was my destiny. So was it mistranslation? I mean, I feel like maybe- I heard yes, honestly. I heard yes, which is interesting. All right, all right, great, thank you. Yeah, yeah. because I thought the church 
this translated puppet. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes sometimes that's just what happens. But but I heard yes with your, your that's a great question. That's one of the best religious questions I've ever been asked. Right to degrade you know? yes, right to discredit yeah. yes. That's why they meant. Yeah, right, and right. so and, and so what happens is, um, you know. When, when someone lives a life where they're actually really connected uh, with their angels, with God, and they can see God and see their angels, I know that's how I live, um, and I know that's how a lot of you guys can actually feel this connection. And then as you actually meditate more and more and more, you get to where you can see. And then you get to where you can hear spiritually and you get and, and all of you guys are able to feel spiritually that's the reason i always make it so so important that i go you feel warm you feel warm you feel light you feel light what do you feel you feel tingles you know that's because you're empathic everybody's empathic and they're feeling all these things and so so it's so important that that you do keep on going and you'll be able to see you'll be able to hear you can do everything i can do there's nothing i can do that you guys can't do and so hero i love you thank you thank, thank you, you buddy Thank look forward you. to seeing you soon oh i love to i love to come to your spiritual retreat uh, come like, come yeah come. yes uh, yeah. The, time, the time is the, the problem with me but but if i'm in the united states i will i will for sure come okay thanks thanks okay. buddy thank, thank you, you. thank you and so and, and so and for you guys we also have another retreat that's showing up when's the other one dean we have another one that we're also yeah it's june, june 2nd 3rd 4th and 5th oh there we go hey we're already we booking for signs. that one too yep <laughs> good all right and so you guys you can also call and 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 check out that one you know and so the spiritual retreats are really really fun because you know i have time to work with you guys and i have time to show you guys how to how to do it yourself and so and it's, it's really important to to um really realize that you guys are spiritual beings amazing 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 spiritual beings and so and now now here, here's the only thing they're telling me to do now. Stop. <laughs> okay. And so, <laughs> anyway, so so I love you guys. I wish I could spend all night with you. And I, I really, but they're telling me I better go do something else because you guys might want to do something else with your evening. Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Call me up, 800-827-GARY for a reading. Uh, if you need to get in touch with Michelle, call Michelle. Michelle, what's, what's your number? How do people call you? 702 eight two two zero five four eight text okay. me call me even if it's late just i'm here <laughs> yeah yeah you you work 24 7 you're like me pretty much <laughs> yeah and, and i'll answer so, calls text whatever <laughs> yeah and and so and if you're looking to come to the spiritual retreat you can call michelle say the number again seven zero two eight two two zero five four eight Okay, perfect. And or GarySpivey.com any anytime, guys. And so, but I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. And and I, I'm going to leave you with a big spiritual gift. Okay, uh, they told me to do this. And so when I when I'm looking, I I see God in Zion Heaven, which is this big new crystal heaven that showed up, you know. Uh, and so I and, and I see uh, this crystal heaven coming down to your house. Okay. And so this is when they're really transferring and pulling in a lot of these energies from these high heavens down to where you live. And so can I see the big gallery view, whatever I got with the big gallery view? And so I want, but just, there we go. And so I want you guys raise your hands up in the air and just pull it down. Okay. And just, just tell your angels, say angels, God, please allow the big golden crystal heaven and it looks like these two geodes behind me right here. And it's a golden, it's a very gold uh, crystal heaven. Okay. And it's coming down. There we go. Perfect. And pull it down. Pull it down. Allow it to come. Pull and allow at the same time. And allow this to come down to your house. Allow this crystal heaven to show up in your world. And then all you got to do is ask for your miracle whatever it is you want uh, and things that could be considered as miracles will become very normal to you, whatever that may be. If you need a healing, ask for healing. If you need light, ask for light. If you need love, ask for love. Anything that is heavenly, 
you can ask for. And now you'll feel, I'll see you guys feeling warm on your back. I feel you feeling warm in your sinuses, your head, your head opened up. I see your face is warm. You know, I'm looking at all the, all of you guys. I can see you. And so I just see all this coming down to, you. and these are, are beautiful crystal heavens. And they're, they look just like these geodes that are behind me. Uh, and they're just really, really pretty. Like looks, looks looks like crystal citron. The whole the whole heaven is made of that, and now it's around your house. I love you guys. I look forward to seeing you next week right here on Tapping In. And for you guys that are in my online club, if you're not in the online club, the Enlightenment Club, join now. Okay, and so this will give you uh, access to to everything on, in the online club, including I'll be doing an energy clearing with you live on Wednesday. So I love you guys, and I'll see you here with Tapping In next week with Gary Spivey. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Dino. Thank you, guys. Thanks Thank to you, Noach, Adriana. Love you. Love you. Thank love you, guys. You. Judy. Thank you, Gary. Love everybody. Big kiss, Judy. <laughs> <laughs>